Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm John, and you're watching Road Reality. And today, we're going to take a look at DaVinci Resolve 17 and a few audio effects and tips and tricks that I've learned that'll help you fix your Motive Log audio. I can't help you with the video. I'm still working that one out myself. All right, here we go. When I first started Motovlogging, I had a not so great mic placement. And then it got worse when it became cold out and I put on my winter jacket. If you've been keeping up with the channel, you saw that video. I did a bunch of tests, but I learned a lot. And as it's always been said, the best way to fix your audio is to not have to fix your audio. You record stuff better at the source, so you don't have to do a bunch of post-production nonsense. I mean, there's way too many things that can get garbled in your audio and it can be quite difficult to fix it. But today, we're gonna to take a quick look at how to do a few quick workflow things in Resolve and get your audio much better. These things have really helped me, and I've got some clips to play for you, so let's dive right in. And if you like this sort of content, make sure to leave it a thumbs up, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button too. I got a whole series planned on DaVinci Resolve for Moto Vloggers this year, here we have a project that I've set up, and I haven't done anything to it really, but I did add four clips. It's the same two clips duplicated, and the second set has this FX icon on it, as you can see here, and those mean that icon means that there are audio effects applied to that audio track. So we'll get into that in a minute. First of all, let's look at the first mic placement, and we'll play through it real quick. I think we're almost there. I think we're almost to the next turn off, but I just wanted to point out that golf course over there. Just how pretty this looks out here. This is awesome. I love riding. So much fun. So that's my first mic placement. And as you can tell, it picks up quite a bit of wind noise and a little bit of engine noise and a little bit of my voice. Let's move on to my second mic placement. All right, so I'm taking the lead now. His uh, GPS was going to take us down one route, but there's way too much traffic. So we're going to take a different path that I know of that's all back roads. Now listening to that clip, you can tell that the audio is much better. If you paid close attention, you'd notice that my speedometer is about 10 miles an hour faster, but the audio is a whole lot better. And it gets even better from there because you can clean up some of the first clip's audio by using a noise reduction filter. So in the edit tab here, we go over to effects, and if you want to add these, you open up your effects library, go down to Fairlight Effects, scroll down to noise reduction, and you can drag it right onto a clip like I have here. I've already added it, and I've got a noise reduction, and a vocal channel. Now, with these two plugins, you will have to do a little bit of playing around because each bike and mic placement and a bunch of other variables are gonna change things for you. Your mileage will vary, but these work well for me, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. So the first one here is noise reduction. This gets rid of a lot of the background crap, and the important things to note here are speech mode and the learn toggle. But if you click on the uh, equalizer bar here, this is the screen that comes up when you add the effect to your clip. And I've selected de-rumble and hiss. And it gives you this. And then I selected auto speech mode. And that's all I did. So let me show you. I'll get rid of the effects here. You literally drag noise reduction over, drop it. This screen shows up, select de-rumble and hiss auto speech mode, boom, done. You wanna add the vocal channel? It's right here at the bottom. Drag that one on. This screen pops up and I have the four presets that I've created for my Street Glide. And I'll select FLHXS4. That tells me it's a Street Glide without going over here somewhere. But if you notice, I've got this uh, compressor set up to get the line sort of above zero decibels. Um, it works pretty good. It's, it's really only going to help you if 
your audio is really bad and you want to get it to somewhat usable. But anyway, over here is the important part, the high pass and the equalizer. You'll want to play with the low frequency, mid and high frequency. And what you do is you can drag these little circle guys. You can drag those left and right and up and down. And when you find something that starts to hurt your ears or sounds harsh, when you, you drag it up here, and when it sounds harsh, you drag it straight down from there. So I'll undo that because I like that setup. In fact, we'll just click that one again. And then through that little trial and error, you'll be able to figure this one out. Uh, I'm not going to go into all the details of what everything does because I don't really know. I watched Jason Yadlovsky's video on it, and he really helped me out with that. So I'll try to leave a link in the description below there. But uh, yeah, this is this is basically what you do here. You just kind of fix that a little bit, save your preset, make sure that the line is at or around the zero dB line on here, your, your light blue line that is, and then that's set up. So once you have those two set up, your workflow gets pretty easy. And now that we have those two set up, let's go back here to our edit tab and we will click learn toggle. This one's important. DaVinci Resolve will learn what it's supposed to do and fix it for you. And it does a really good job. So we'll play a f we'll play the first one again. No, oh, I think we're almost there. I think we're almost to the next turn off, but I just wanted to point out that golf course over there. Just how pretty this looks out here. This is awesome. I love riding. So much fun. And now we'll play the first clip again, but with our noise reduction and vocal channel effects turned on. Oh, I think we're almost there. I think we're almost to the next turn off, but I just wanted to point out that golf course over there. Just how pretty this looks out here. This is awesome. I love riding. So much fun. Now, if you notice, that audio sounded a lot better, didn't it? My voice is clear. The wind noise and engine noise are somewhat muted. So that's what the two effects did for us. Really helped us out. The last thing I want to show is the second mic placement with two things done to it. One is I've added the noise reduction, which I already showed you. And we'll go ahead and select Learn Toggle. But over in the Audio tab here on our inspector, I've raised the volume three decibels. Because when you add just the noise reduction, the, uh, the effect lowers the overall volume of your clip. So what you want to do is raise that to where you're still not peaking too high and it doesn't sound harsh, but that your voice is loud enough. So that's important. So let's go ahead and make sure our learn toggle is still selected. It is. And we'll go ahead and play this clip. All right, so I'm taking the lead now. Is uh, Jippus is gonna take us down one route, but there's way too much traffic. So we're going to take a different path that I know of that's all back road. That sounded pretty good, didn't it? You know what I forgot to do is show you or play for you this second clip with no effects. Let's do that now. All right, so I'm taking the lead now. Is uh, Jippus is going to take us down one route, but there's way too much traffic. So we're going to take a different path that I know of that's all back roads. Now, if you paid close attention there, you'll notice that when I played the clip with no effects on it, the wind noise wasn't overpowering, but it was far more pronounced than in that last clip. Now, mind you, this second clip is in a half helmet with a lapel mic clip to the inside of the left ear pad, and we're doing almost 60 miles an hour here, and that sounds pretty darn good, doesn't it? So. Those are the effects. I mean, this little bit of work and you've fixed your audio. So if you already have a good mic placement, but you're just getting a little bit too much wind noise or engine noise, you can really bring those levels down using these effects. So one other thing is if you don't want to do it per clip, because hey, let's say you've got a 20 minute video, you've got 50 or 60 clips all layered and everything. What I like to do is go over here and I've created this audio track and I've called it on bike one and we'll just minimize that a little bit, give us some more room. So I've, I've called it on bike rather. And you'll notice it's got no effects on it because there's no FX icon here. And then I create a second track for off bike. 
This is where your intro, outro, background music, that sort of thing can go. But for on bike, we'll go over to the Fairlight tab. You'll see it down here. It's got the music note on it. And now we're in the big scary Fairlight tab. If you're not familiar with the Fairlight tab, that's okay. I'm gonna walk you through just the basics to get started. But what we're gonna do is we can go over here and if you don't see effects library, click on it and then go to audio effects, scroll down to noise reduction and you can drag it to your on bike track and drop it. Notice the same window comes up, select the rumble and hiss, auto speech mode, boom. Now it's on the entire track. And with it on the entire track, all you have to do is go over here and hit your equalizer button, make sure auto speech mode is selected. And now here's what I like to do. I come back to the edit tab and let's say I've got my completed video. I come in here, I make sure the audio is up three decibels, go to effects, select learn toggle, go to the beginning of my video and hit play. And that's all you have to do. Once you hit play, you play through the whole video start to finish. For you, it's probably like this, start to finish. And then the audio is set. And then I like to go and render it from there and I'm done. So hopefully those two or three tricks uh, helped you out and you were able to fix your audio a little bit. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload future videos. I'm planning a whole series on DaVinci Resolve for Motive Vloggers this year. So if there's any specifics you want to see, let me know in the comments below. And until I see you again, keep the shiny side up. Thanks for watching.